In this video, I'm going to break down my podcast workflow, how I've used the podcast app Castro to listen to over a thousand podcast episodes over the last two years, and how you can drastically increase the number of podcasts you listen to and increase the amount of information you absorb from each of them. If you're new here, my name is Amon. I'm a computer science student and Amazon software engineering intern. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to reveal my top 10 list of the most valuable podcast I've ever listened to. Yeah, let's begin. All right, so I only really discovered podcasts a few years ago when a few of my favorite YouTubers, Rhett and Link, MKBHD, Unbox Therapy, mentioned that they had podcasts on their YouTube channel and I really wanted to check them out. And I think at this time, my default choice was Apple Podcasts. It was already on my phone and it was easy enough to search for and download podcast episodes. But at least back then, Apple Podcasts had all of these weird issues. I didn't really understand how to subscribe to podcasts or follow them without downloading all of their random episodes. And I'd always get these random notifications about podcasts I listened to only one time. It was confusing and unintuitive, and because of that, I only really listened to just a couple podcasts for the first few years. Enter Castro. So in May of 2020, I discovered this incredible app called Castro, and it completely revolutionized my listening experience. Since I've adopted it completely, I've listened to over a thousand individual podcast episodes, all because of how efficient the Castro system is. I'm going to break down some of Castro's great features and explain how my podcast workflow integrates with each of them. Okay, so right now I'm in Castro. Its first feature is super straightforward. The process from discovering new podcasts to listening to them is super linear. Let me explain. So you start off right here in the Discover tab. Here you can search for any new podcasts you're interested in listening to and then add them to your library. For example, someone recently recommended me The Tim Ferriss Show and I can easily look it up here. I can easily subscribe to it here and then it would show up right in my library. This next tab is called the library. It has every podcast you've ever subscribed to in alphabetical order, and you can easily scroll through all of them. Let's find the Lex Friedman podcast and then click right into it. Here I can see all of his episodes in chronological order with a title and a short description. If I wanted to listen to any of them, all I have to do is click on it, and then add it to the top of the queue or the bottom of the queue, whichever one you want. I'll get to the incredible queue functionality later on. Let's head over one more tab to the left and here we get into the inbox. The inbox is where every new episode of all the podcasts you subscribe to appears again in chronological order, just like this. Here you have the Tim Ferriss show, the TMG podcast, the Mind Pump podcast. These are all new episodes for the podcast I've subscribed to. I can easily click on it, Tim Ferriss show, and then add it to the top of my queue from here as well. If we switch over to the queue, you can see that the Tim Ferriss show episode has jumped over to the top and is automatically downloading. This is beautiful. The queue right here is every podcast I've added to the queue from the library, from Discover, from Inbox, and all of them are auto-sorted and automatically downloaded, ready for me to listen to. This right here is the beauty of Castro. It's just so intuitive. The entire flow has been moving from right to left. It's just so simple and easy to understand. All these other podcast apps make you jump all over the place to find and discover new episodes. It's just really unintuitive and not fun to use. The queue aspect of Castro is by far its best feature. The queue is a one-stop shop for any time I want to listen to podcasts. Basically, every few days, I will open inbox like this and scroll through about 20 to 30 titles from the last few days. If any new podcasts interest me, I will click on them and then add them to the queue. I usually end up adding four to five podcasts every three to four days. Then whenever I'm in the bathroom, in a plane, driving my car, the gold mine is right here in the queue. No need to search for a new podcast right before I start doing something. I have this hand-selected, fully downloaded list right here for the choosing. All of these beautiful episodes are just smiling up at me, ready for me to click on them. I always feel bad for those people rushing before they enter the plane to find something to download and listen to. Like I have this beautiful treasure trove right here. I can use it anytime I want. Cellular data, internet, or no, it's fully downloaded. Some other great features are the auto add to queue. If there are any specific podcasts you really, really love, you can automatically add every single new episode to the top of the queue and they will auto download overnight. That way you don't miss any of them and they're right there at the ready for your drive the next morning. For me, I absolutely love the Huberman Lab podcast, Not Overthinking, that's Ali Abdal's podcast, and Ear Biscuits by Rhett and Link. Those are ones that automatically get downloaded and I listen to every single episode every week. Other than the intuitive listening experience, Castro is also great for tracking your history and viewing your metrics. Castro has this AI called Top Picks, which will analyze your last few episodes that you've listened to and suggest new episodes you might be interested in checking out straight from your inbox. So you don't have to scroll through hundreds of episodes. This AI will know what you like and will recommend it to you. You can also go into the library and click on your history right
right here where you can see every podcast episode you've ever listened to in the past on Castro along with the date that you listen to it. You can even favorite podcasts that have really resonated with you in the starred tab. Whenever someone asks me, hey, what are some great podcasts you've listened to? I always go over to the starred tab and then scroll through them and recommend them to people. These are my top favorite podcasts that I've listened to all in the starred tab. These are my gems right here in Castro. Castro also has a ton of small, very pro level features that encourage you to keep on listening. For example, if we enter the listening pane right here, we have a lot of great features. You can listen at faster speeds at increments of 0.1 all the way to 3x speed. You can enhance voices, which will cut out the background noise and amplify the frequencies of the spoken pitch. You can also trim silences, which is an incredible feature. This feature will listen for any silences in the conversation and automatically trim those out. So you get a super snappy, free-flowing conversation. It even keeps track of how many minutes you've saved by cutting those silences. Some people pause so much during their podcast that you'll have five to 10 minutes saved of dead audio almost every single podcast. Imagine saving five minutes every time you listen to a podcast for a thousand episodes. This app has saved me 84 hours or three full days over the last few years. Another great Castro feature is the sideload function. With Castro, you can turn any YouTube video into a podcast. All you have to do is go to a YouTube video. I've gone to one of my favorite Joe Rogan episodes. Then you click share right here and then you open it all the way in Castro. Now it's automatically downloading. When it's done downloading, it'll be right there in the Castro inbox ready to listen to. Now you have access to all of Castro's great listening features like trimming audio and others for that YouTube video along with having everything in one place. Finally, Castro lets you access RSS feeds as well. The fun never ends. Some premium podcasts will have an ad-free stream or special subscribed episodes. And to access those, you'll need a special code. You can just enter those into podcasts and it'll automatically let you subscribe and then add new episodes with all of your other podcasts. You can't do that on Apple Podcasts or even Spotify. Speaking of Spotify, here's why Spotify sucks and Castro's the GOAT. I've tried using Spotify for podcasts and I absolutely hate it. First of all, Spotify is really confusing. I don't understand why the combined in music and podcasts all into one app, and even worse, everything's in one section. Like most people don't listen to a few songs, then listen to a full hour long podcast and listen to a couple songs afterward. Listening to podcasts and listening to music are two totally different moods for me. I don't want podcasts cluttering my music playlist. Second, with Spotify, you don't have access to all of those small nifty features like side loading, background noise reduction, enhanced voices, and trim silences. Castro is packed with those tiny awesome functions. Finally, Spotify is super laggy with the introduction of video content. Like there's so many bugs. I don't know why they can't make a seamless video slash audio experience. Every time I'm listening to a podcast and then I click into it to watch the video, there's like a 15 second delay. It's super weird. And their integrated ads feature is a mess as well. I've had the Athletic Greens ads spammed to me over and over again, like five times. It was horrible. Also downloading podcast sucks. You have to deliberately click download, which means you'll never remember to do it before you get on the plane. So yeah, all of you guys who use Spotify, go ahead and download Castro and you'll thank me later. Now I'm going to break down my podcast workflow. How I've used Castro to listen to over a thousand podcast episodes. Basically, like I said before, I put Castro at the bottom of my home screen, so I'm encouraged to go on it every time I go on my phone. Every couple days, I will go to the inbox and download three to five new episodes. They fill up the top of my queue, and now they're available anytime, anywhere, with or without Wi-Fi or cellular data. Dead air is when you're doing a task that doesn't require hearing or focusing on something deeply. Basically, every moment I'm not deeply working on something or having a conversation, I'm listening to podcasts. This one habit combined with Castro is one of the main reasons I've been able to listen to so many podcasts. I always have a podcast or audiobook playing no matter what I'm doing, as long as I'm not talking to someone or doing some kind of deep work. The moment I get out of bed, I will put in my AirPods and start listening. I'm still listening when I'm getting ready for the day. I even bought waterproof headphones so I can keep listening to my podcasts and audiobooks while I'm taking a shower. Nowadays, I carry my AirPods everywhere so I can keep listening to podcasts while cooking, cleaning, on my commute to work, making lunch, coming back, eating dinner. I'm always listening to something. I even listen for 10 to 15 minutes before I fall asleep in bed. It's basically constant. And all this listening is at two to three X speed. I'm a huge fan of listening to things at faster speeds. I know what you're thinking. Come on, why don't you slow down, enjoy life, smell the roses, blah, blah, blah. The truth is, is that when you start speed listening, your brain can interpret the two X speed just as well as it can one X speed. And I actually enjoy it more because I get less bored. Usually if I listen at one X, my brain will get bored and I'll be tempted to pull out Instagram and start scrolling social media while I'm listening to whatever I'm listening to. Speeding up the episode helps keep me on my toes and stay focused on what I'm listening to. If you've gotten this far into this video and you don't already speed up your podcasts and audiobooks, trust me, you have to. It's a game changer. You can slowly work your way up. You don't have to jump all the way to 2x from day one. Just start with 1.2 times speed and work up from there. And once you start listening at faster speed, trust me, you will get through so much more content and you'll like it even more. Finally, I wanted to explain why I love podcasts so much and actually give you my recommendations 
recommendations for my top 10 most valuable podcasts I've ever listened to. The main reason why I like podcasts so much is because they allow you to expand your box. Growing up, most of us limit our opportunities to the box we were presented as a child. When I was a kid, the only careers I knew about were doctor and engineer because I was only ever surrounded by doctors and engineers. I had no clue you could make a startup, start a YouTube channel, anything like that because no one ever told me. When you listen to podcasts, you're presented with a bunch of people's life stories, which can help expand your mental box and allow you to imagine way more possibilities than you otherwise would. Podcasts are also great for diving deep and learning on a topic without school. Long form discussions that span two, maybe even three hours, get really down into the details and give you a ton of value. I've learned so much about health, nutrition, fitness, entrepreneurship, travel, skill acquisition, all by listening to a ton of different podcasts. And the recommendations by podcast guests are also amazing. I've gotten tons of value by looking up a name that someone randomly mentions, like Naval or Peter Atia. I found those people by following through on casual references. Now that you know why Castro is the best podcast app in the world and why I love podcasts so much, here are my top 10 favorite podcasts that you guys should all subscribe to right now in no particular order. Okay, first of all, we have the Huberman Lab podcast. Believe it or not, I've listened to all 81 episodes of this podcast, some of them even two or three times. Dr. Andrew Huberman is a professor of neuroscience at Stanford University. And every week he discusses a different topic related to nutrition, fitness, learning, focus, psychology, and all of it is super actionable. Every episode is jam-packed with useful tricks, protocols, and techniques. I cannot believe this stuff is 100% free. I'd expect to pay like $50 per episode for the amount of value you receive. Some of his best episodes are Find Your Temperature Minimum to Defeat Jet Lag. That's a deep dive on sleep. Another one is How to Focus to Change Your Brain. In that episode, he breaks down the science of neuroplasticity and efficient learning. His series on gaining muscle and losing fat is also amazing if you're interested in exercise science and physiology. Okay, next up we have The Tim Ferriss Show, absolute classic. I read The 4-Hour Workweek way back in 2020 and it completely changed my life. Some of his best episodes are his interviews with Terry Crews, Hugh Jackman, Mark Zuckerberg. Man has an incredible list of guests. His Q&As are also great for learning more about his own process and protocol. Now we have Not Overthinking slash The Deep Dive with Ali Abdal. I'm grouping these both together because they're both Ali Abdal's podcasts. I'm sure you guys already know who Ali Abdal is. He's the YouTuber that most changed my life and inspired me to actually start this channel. But few know about his podcast with his brother, Not Overthinking, which I actually find way more valuable than his YouTube channel. Him and Tamor, his brother, discuss topics on life, happiness, the human condition. I've learned so much from both of them and I've also listened to every single podcast episode two to three times. The Lex Friedman Podcast. This man is a legend. He's so inspirational and his guests are also outstanding. Lex has the ability to find these super niche professors on really obscure topics and get them to open up about their wealth of knowledge and experience. Some of my favorite episodes of his are his interview with evolutionary biologist David Buss, of course Mark Zuckerberg, Matthew Walker's episode on sleep is great, Lex also has multiple interviews with Andrew Heberman, you should check all of it out. The Peter Atia Drive. Now this one's a little bit more niche. Peter Atia is a doctor and longevity expert. Basically he's devoted his life to studying how you can increase your lifespan and your health span. Some of his awesome episodes are his deep dives on eye health, teeth health. Also his AMAs on zone two cardio and hot and cold therapy are also great. Lifespan with David Sinclair, another health and longevity focused podcast. Dr. David Sinclair is a Harvard geneticist who's devoted his entire life to studying why we age. His podcast is a limited series that spanned around seven to eight episodes and covered every actionable tip under the sun on exercise, fasting, hot and cold exposures, sunlight, and skin health. If you want to live as long as possible and be happy for as long as possible, you need to listen to his podcast. He also wrote a best-selling book called Lifespan, which is also amazing. His general theory on how experiencing small but bearable amounts of adversity leading to longevity completely changed my mindset about health. The Colin and Samir Show. Now this one's a little bit different. Colin and Samir are experts on the creator economy. Their podcast breaks down successful creators, especially YouTubers, and seeks to understand their techniques for blowing up on the platform. Their interview with Mr. Beast was life-changing. Anyone remotely interested in starting a YouTube channel should listen to that right now. It has something crazy like 11 million views on YouTube. It's insane. The Ezra Klein Show, another interesting one. Ezra Klein is a political expert and founder of Vox Media. His podcast is a New York Times production. What I like about his podcast is that he's a pretty reasonable and knowledgeable person when it comes to news and current events. I definitely 
definitely do not trust the mainstream media nowadays. And when I want to learn more about a topic in the news, I often check out his podcast to hear his take. Making sense with Sam Harris. Sam Harris is a neuroscience PhD and philosopher. He's an expert on philosophy and founder of the Making Sense Meditation app. I really like his guests and takes on current events as well. Especially during the COVID era and the Trump presidency, his ideas and guests were really awesome. Finally, the Joe Rogan experience, the most famous podcast in the world. Everyone knows Joe Rogan. Man is controversial as hell, but I do sure love listening to him. He is a Spotify exclusive nowadays, probably the only reason why I still have Spotify. His interview with Naval was absolutely mind-bending and highly recommend listening to it. One honorary mention, Ear Biscuits by Rhett and Link. I also listen to every single episode of this podcast, and it's the first podcast I listened to way back when I first started in high school. I've always loved Rhett and Link, and especially on their podcast, their personalities really shine. But it's only really entertaining if you already know who they are, which is why I didn't put it on my top 10 list. If you have any podcast recommendations, feel free to put those in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see what you guys like. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. A like would be incredible, and I will see you in the next video.